we have some interest in Nintendo Switch 2 leaks. Let's get into it. I'm Blaze 2K. Let's go. Let's go. Before we get into it though guys, go check the link down below in the video description for Factor 75. If you want to take all the thinking out of making meals and just want your meals to be delivered to your front door, fresh, never frozen, check out Factor 75. If you use my link down below, you'll get $150 off. You get 50% off your first order, I believe 20% off your following orders, and they have so many meals to choose from. Look at this. It's just endless. Delicious. Um, so yeah, it takes all the thinking out of your meal prep. Um, if you don't have time or don't feel like coming home and making dinner, then Factor's got you. No preparation just get it shove it in the fridge take it out of the box shove it in the fridge and then when you want to eat it put it in the microwave for a few minutes and bam you've got all these gourmet chef made meals delivered right to your door also if you use my link you'll also get two wellness drinks they're green or they're turmeric anti-inflammatory drinks for free for life with every single box so go check out factor 75 down below link down below you will not regret it review comes soon on my channel anyways so central leaks actually posted some rumors of yeah universal nintendo right switch 2 is going to have back Backwards compatibility with OG Switch titles, both for physical and digital games. Now, that is something we sort of assumed would happen. I mean, can you imagine the uproar if we couldn't play Switch games? If it was like a brand new clean slate, it would kind of suck, right? Um, so hopefully that does does come true. Um, devs can enhance their Switch 1 games um, to take advantage of the added processing power. So we're talking about higher resolutions. Hopefully, if Nintendo are smart, higher frame rates. Um, hopefully the new display supports a bigger, uh, better frame rates. Reiterates a direct is coming next week, and the hardware reveal is next month. Wow! So we're talking about this. We're getting really close to the Switch 2 release date here. Mentions that a Pokemon presentation is coming this month, so hopefully we're going to see some news on that. So let's talk about the Switch 2 in general, what we know overall. So the release date and the announcement. So leaks are suggesting that the Switch 2 is going to be announced in March 2024 um, and released later this year, which is going to be big if that's the case, right? Now that aligns with the original Switch release date, which was announced in October 2016 and released in March 2017. It kind of aligns, right? even though it might be getting announced in March, we're going to be getting it hopefully this year, right? I mean, all the signs point to yes. Um, now, backwards compatibility, the Switch 2 is rumored to be backwards compatible with the original, or allowing users to play both physical and digital games from the original Switch. That would be a big deal, I hope so. Um, I think, obviously, we're going to be going all digital in the future, going forward, but Nintendo do love the physical stuff, so expect it to be much like the DS, right, where the DS came out and it supported Game Boy Advance games right from the get-go. Even though that wasn't the new cartridge type, so per se, for the DS, they still allowed you to shove a Game Boy Advance car in. So that's good. Um, and we might obviously see a newer Switch down the line that eliminates the Switch game cart port. Who knows? Now, developers are going to be able to enhance their Switch games, as we've talked about. Um, we're going to be able to hopefully take advantage of that additional graphics processing power. So think of like The Witcher 3 on Switch or Skyrim. All the newer games, um, or the newer games that were recently released on Switch, won't run to their full potential, especially the Pokemon games, expect could bump in both graphics fidelity as well as performance, right? Now, the one bad side is of the Switch 2 leaks is that the new Switch, it's not looking likely it's going to have an OLED display. Now, those of us that got spoiled with the original Switch OLED I'll, will probably be cringing right now, but listen, it's not all it's not all doom and gloom. This, look at the Lenovo Legion Go, right? Look, it's got an 8.8 inch display. It's not OLED, but it's very high quality, almost as good as OLED, but not quite as good. But it's looking like they're going to be doing a they're going to be basically reverting back to an LCD display just for as a cost saving measure, right? I mean, this is going to be the Switch 2. Everyone's going to want it Switch 2 and if you put the price point a little bit too high obviously that's going to turn off a lot of consumers, especially around the Christmas period. A lot of kids are going to want their Switch 2, right? Um, and a lot of parents are going to want to dish out $600 to $700 for an OLED decked out Switch 2. So they're going to be they're going to have to make some compromises here and there. But the display is looking likely. It's going to be bigger than the current Switch, all right? So the leaked image of the Switch 2 UI shows a, sim shows a similar design to the current Switch, but with a more modern UI and sleek appearance. So that's always good. Now, performance and hardware. The Switch 2 is expected to have a custom-made NVIDIA chip providing improved performance capabilities. Now, we're talking about performance on par with the PS4 or above from what we've seen already. That could be a big deal, especially as far... I mean, look at the PlayStation 4 library. A lot of current games are still coming out in PlayStation 4, so just imagine the possibilities of having a PS4 in your pocket. Now, you can talk about the switch i mean the steam deck 
the the new AMD 7840U Z1 Extreme handhelds. They are powerful, but it's looking like the Switch 2 is going to be possibly a little bit more ahead of the other competitors in the market, right? I mean, this is NVIDIA's newest gen chip, APU, and we've not really seen what NVIDIA have had to offer for a while. So this is going to be really interesting to see if NVIDIA can bring it to AMD. Now, as always, take these leaks with a pinch of salt. A lot of people are skeptical about the new potential features and improvements, whether the leaks are true. We've not got any official confirmation yet. We're going to have to keep our ear to the to the ground and wait till we hear official news from Nintendo themselves. But it's looking like in the next 30 days, 30 to 60 days, we're going to see an official announcement, which is going to be a big deal. Um, obviously, there's also concern about the potential cost of the new console and whether it will be worth the upgrade over the existing console. Now, remember, Nintendo are not the only horse in the race as far as handheld gaming is concerned now. We've got MSI coming in with the MSI Claw. We've obviously got the Lenovo Legion Go. We've got the Steam Deck OLED, right? And these are like new, these are leagues above the current Nintendo Switch in terms of performance. Um, the ROG Ally, the iNeo devices, there's so many handhelds sitting in the market now. It's going to be a, <laughs> a remarkably different market than it was back in 2017 when the original Switch came out. And I'm really curious to see how successful it's going to be. Is it going to be able to pull over or steal some of those new customers that have dished out money for a Steam Deck or the, some of the new Windows handhelds? You know, there's something nice about being able to get AAA brand new releases day one on your handheld, right? Being able to play big games like Call of Duty Warzone, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, um, FIFA, you name it, sports games, all the AAA, Cyberpunk 2077, without having to wait for a port. And that's why I love handheld gaming right now. We're in such a good place when it comes to handheld gaming. The Steam Deck OLED is one of my favorites so far. Lenovo Legion Go as well. MSI Claws coming out. So many handhelds coming out. And they all run Windows or Linux. And both of those support brand new game releases. Now, with Nintendo, typically, you have to wait for the game to be ported over to it. And that's that can be a little bit of a bummer. I remember when the Switch came out, you know, everyone was like, oh, I hope they port this over. I hope they port Skyrim over. I think Skyrim was one of the first release games. Never mind. But yeah, you really have to wait for a game to be ported to a Nintendo handheld. And now, things like the Steam Deck, obviously, consumers have choices, right? If you want to get the new release, if you want to play games like Spider-Man, Spider-Man, then you can only really play it on these newer newer handhelds, like the Steam Deck and the Windows handhelds, right? I feel like Nintendo are going to stick to the whole, you're going to have to wait till we port a game to this console um, way of doing things, right? So that's going to suck. Um, but we'll see. I mean, I'd be surprised. Nintendo might just release a Linux handheld that supports Steam. Who knows? I doubt it because they make a lot of their money on the software sales. But yeah, it's a different market than it was back when back in 2017. But in conclusion, guys, the Nintendo Switch 2 leaks from Central Leaks on Twitter have sparked a lot of excitement among us handheld fans um, and speculation among just everyone, right? Uh, the leaks suggest a potential release date in late 2024, backward compatibility, a larger screen, improved performance, um, all stuff we'd wanted. Um, public reception has been mixed. Obviously, a lot of people are eagerly awaiting official confirmation from Nintendo themselves. But as more information becomes available, please stay tuned to this channel because I'll be keeping you up to date. I try and put out a video at least a good couple of times a week. So please subscribe, ding that bell icon, and consider consider joining us for our streams every day. I'm going to get try get back to streaming at 4 a.m. Central and 2 p.m. Central or 12 p.m. Central. So come join me for a stream and come follow me on X as well at x.com forward slash blaze 2 kx on x blaze 2 kx one word on x um come join me and obviously go check out factor 75 i'm going to have a review up soon on the channel i think you'll really love it um check some links down check the links down below in the video description if you want some cool nintendo switch accessories as well but check out factor 75 if you just want meals delivered to your door lots of choices every single week you want to get a blinder of a deal using my link down below go check it out anyways guys i'll see you in the next video take care i love you i appreciate you and i'll see you in the next one on blaze 2k let's go